Yep. Same makeup, same clothes as the last one. I did the glasses tag in the last one. I warned you then I was going to be in the same stuff. I'm doing several as I go along. This one is the old school tag. And some of this I'm not going to be able to do very easily. I've got one really crappy picture of me from one of the yearbooks. We had all of our stuff in a storage unit that we lost. I don't have most of my pictures from way back when. Let's see. Old school. Name your favorite old song that you used to listen to when you were a kid. Well, not so much a kid. But I was pretty cool with Zager and Evans 2525. I like that song. Speculative science fiction. What do you want? Number two. Have you ever attended or thrown a block party? No. I lived in the suburbs. And most of the people that, that lived on our street was just, it was just not the block party party kind of place. Number three. Have you ever owned a cassette player, Walkman, or record player? All three. I had a portable record player that worked okay with a 33 and a third, but it was really set up for 45s. And I had stacks of 45s. It, I had, if any of you are old enough, you'll remember those stacker things with the little twist at the top that had the handle and it would carry all of your 45s down the street with you. So you could have the 45s in one hand and the record player case in the other. I graduated to a cassette player. It was one of the basic little flat ones. And then the Walkman. And yes, I know what the relationship in is between a pencil and a cassette. So, yeah. Now, the school pencils with the ridges actually work better, but I don't have a school pencil to hand. You'll have to get over. Anyway, number four, what was your favorite corner store snack or candy? When I got up into my teens, it was like chocolate bars. When I was a little kid and we were hauling the four deposit glass bottles back on our little banana seat, bicycles, I would get the wax lips and the little wax Coke bottles. I thought they were just the most amazing things on the planet. I don't know why, I just did. Number five, what was your high school mascot, a bald eagle? We were the Thomas A. Edison Eagles, Alexandria, Virginia. Number six, what was the TV show you couldn't miss? 
when I was still in elementary school, because I didn't really mess that much with particular shows when I got a little older, but when I was in elementary school, there was this lovely, original, my kind of soap opera called Dark Shadows. And I would have time from the time I left school to walk home, which was about a five minute walk, get my homework done and be ready to turn that show on with everything done so nobody could yell. Homework was done, all of it. I loved that show. Barnabas Collins, as played by Jonathan, Jonathan Freed, was my first vampire crush. Loved that show. Number seven, have you ever used a payphone? People, I have used a payphone for so long, I remember when it went from a nickel to a dime to a quarter. Okay? When you go out, depending on which part of the, the timeline you were in, one of your parents would always make sure that you had at least a couple of nickels, or a couple of dimes, or a couple of quarters in your pocket. And that was your payphone money, in case something happened. And you didn't touch that payphone money for anything else. Because if something happened, that was the only way you were calling home. You couldn't stop somebody on the street and say, hey, can I borrow your cell? There was no cell. The only kind of calls you could make back then, if you were on a payphone, was do a person-to-person -person with them paying. And, you know, you, you, there are people who set up code words with their family so that there was a real quick way to tell people you were okay if you didn't have your phone money. You know, if you were traveling and, and you got in safely, you know, you'd call person to person and pick your favorite nickname and then ask for your real name, you know, your regular name, on the other end. And when they say, you know, she's not here or he not here or whatever, the operator would cut you off, but they would know you were safe. Or if they knew where you were, they could use that as a signal to come get you. If you did something stupid and, and misplace, lose, or spend your phone money. Number eight, what kind of kid games did you and, the, and your neighborhood friends play? Well, when we were still really young, there was one, two, three, red light. Uh, Duck Duck Goose, Hide and Seek, the usual stuff. We played Barbies. Um, we didn't really get into board or card games that much until we were like middle school and high school. Most of it was you know, out running around. It's like, when I was a kid, once the sun was up and you had your breakfast, your moms would punt you out the door 
and then yell when it was lunchtime, and pretty much everybody had the same lunchtime during the summer. And then when the street lights came on, it was time to come home. So, and all of the families along the street, everybody knew everybody else's kids. And they looked out for everybody. And let me guarantee you, party line in use or not, yes, we still had party lines, party line in use or not, if you did something stupid, there would be somebody's mom on the line to your mom faster than you could run. And you would hear about it as you broke through the door. Okay, number nine, who was your best friend as a kid? Now, this is kind of weird. I was pretty much an introvert and a loner most of the time. And I didn't really have anybody I counted as my best friend until my second year of high school. And my buddy moved in to our neighborhood when she was in her junior year, and we met at the bus stop. And we just kind of clicked. And we've been clicking along off and on for the last 40 plus years, her kids call me aunt. And it's just, sometimes we argue, sometimes we don't, sometimes we go. We had a period where her spousal unit didn't like me and we didn't communicate for years. She gets back in communication Everything's like, yeah, we just picked it up again. And it just went on. It's like, yeah, she graduated a year before I did, but what the heck? Hmm. It was weird. I'm weird. What do you want? Anyway, that pretty much covers that one. I'm going to pick another couple of them for the next couple of weeks. And at some point in this, I'm going to take all of my purses out of their bin. Well, not just the purses, the purses, the makeup bags, the little wallets, everything. And I'm going to lay it out. And I'm going to go through them and decide whether or not some of them it's time to go. Now, most of my purses, most of my current collection of purses came from thrift stores. I have a few that I acquired as new pieces, but only a few. The few that I got as new pieces are all... Etienne Agner's. That was my thing. That was my definite designer. Etienne purses and Etienne shoes. But I'd go to the outlet to get them. They're a little pricey, you know, it's designer stuff. Anyway, we'll see that one when it comes up. This is what you see. This is what you get. Be good. Mm -hmm.